Hi, this is Ike from Groovy Entertainment. Today, video talking about counting 1 to 12. Now, I did this book Saturday. This is a real popular video. Got a lot of views on it. The only bad part about it, that this video ain't worth none. Except for your entertainment. Because Disney took all the rights to this, to this video of mine. <laughs> I couldn't I couldn't edit it because they, they took the rights to both songs and any voice with goofy any, any voice with the goofy or Donald Duck mouth, they just took them all out and the man that was reading the book, he was copyrighted too. So that whole video was just copyrighted. But I'm glad you guys liked it. And I never heard of this. The Discovery series. Now, a little bit that I'm reading up your comments that this is the first book of that series. And you know how I do these videos. I'm gonna try to be run, I'm gonna try to talk about everything that was in this book that, that part of that video and see how good I remember it. Now, what I remember is they had every character from the Disney from the Disney collection. So in a sense, every Disney book on record, I mostly I did, would be within this book. So if I were to do a last episode, this would be it. Because it had everything that I had done in the past. Like, you, know, you had Donald Duck playing tennis. I don't know if I did not Okay, I did do a Donald Duck book on tape. And I think that's only one. I think I only did one Donald Duck book on tape. Now, if I did more, you can leave it in the comments. Then we got Chip and Dale and Grandma Duck. Now, I don't think I did any Chip and Dale and Grandma uh, audio stuff. And it's nice to see Grandma Duck in the audio kind of book. Because if you follow my first channel, I read a lot of her books from the Disney book collection. So this is the first time we see her in an audio thing. Even Chip and Dale I read a lot of. We don't get to see much of these characters in my other stuff. Then we got the three little pigs and the big bad wolf. Now, I did do a, a book on record of this. And I think I had to chop it up to make two copies of the same record. Or oh, video. <laughs> so, like, see how, see how it brings everything back? Then we got Bambi. Now, I know I did a bunch of Bambi stuff. So, so like I said, if I was going to do a last episode, this would be it. Because it got everything in this in this book to make it like a last episode. Bring back everything I'd done in the past. Then we got Pinocchio. Now, it's nice to bring back all these old characters. The Bambi and Pinocchio and the three little pigs would all from the forties. They're all, even, yeah. I think they were all from the forties uh, movie collection. But I know Pinocchio came out in the forties, on nineteen forty. Bambi came out nineteen forty two. I think the Three Little Pig came out nineteen forty three. So they're all on. They're all in that decade. Now I don't know who these characters are. The only one I know of is this guy. He was from the cute uh, uh, pickle commercial. He was the guy that kept eating the pickles all the time. So I didn't know he was a Disney character. I thought he was just a another commercial character. Now, I don't know who the hippos are, but they remind me of the hippos in Fantasia, the little babies of them. Now, if you know anything about this character, was he originally a Disney character? And then the Pico commercial got a hold of him? And I forget who his name was in, that, in them commercials. But if you remember the Pico commercial, leave it in the comments. It'd be nice to know who else remembered this stuff. Then we got Snow White. Now, Snow White is the oldest movie character in this book. And she came out in 1937. Then we got the Jungle Book. 
Now he's the newest one. He came out in '67, so now he had to, they bought back a, new, a newer older book because this book on record came out in '74. Now I don't know if all the other ones are going to be just like this because I've never read any of these kind of books. All we got uh, Robin Hood from '73. So this is the brand new one then. Because this is 73, this book came out in 74. This would be the brand new Disney movie of the time. And this was a good this was a good Disney movie. Didn't have much singing in it. And that's a plus. And it was an adventure movie. And we will be talking about oh, I, try, I, I will be talking about this book in the, in the coming video too. Talking about what I remember of it and all that. Now we got Mickey Mouse, Minnie Mouse, we got Marty, and I forget who the other guy is. But we have Minnie Mouse nephews. One were named Marty, and the other one was named. <laughs> Good question. And I got these on my first channel. Got a whole I got a whole playlist of these two mouses. I just can't remember them on the top of my head. <laughs> And Mickey Mouse is kind of an oldie. He came out in the 20s. And I'm glad they brought they bought Mickey Mouse and Minnie and the nephews. Because you always you always get Donald Duck, Mick, Goofy, and Mickey Mouse and Minnie, but never never Mickey Mouse people. You always get Donald Duck nephews. So I'm happy they bought them too in this book. And I know I'm not gonna remember that name, so we ain't gonna worry about it. His Winnie the Pooh. Now, you know, I did a lot of Winnie the Pooh stuff on this channel. And it's nice they bought him. If I didn't bring back all the other characters, like Piglet, Eeyore, Tigger, Rabbit, and Owl, all you from Christopher Robinson inside this with him. Now we got 101 Domation. Now, this came out in 61. So, so this is another from the 60s. And Winnie the Pooh also. Winnie the Pooh came out in 65 in the movie format. So, probably good. So, I'm glad they bought 60s. So, the way they did, they bought the 60s, the 40s, the 30s, and the 70s. But nothing from the 50s. Unless the last page got a 50. Nope. Just Mickey Mouse. If this, this is a good book. It had good background music. Had that disco, that pre disco music in the background. And it had like a TV theme song in the background also. A lot of these, a lot of these 70 book on record, they got that kind of 70 background music. And on here were two songs um, the Indian song and One, Two, Three, Buckle My Shoe. Now, uh, let's see, I got the record next to me. Okay, we've got Ten Little Indians and This Old Man. I would never recognize that title. And like I said, Disney got Disney got all the points off of this book. So I'm glad you guys love it. I'm glad it's making a lot of views, a lot of comments on it, a lot of uh, likes. But I don't get a dime. <laughs> so I'm helping the Disney company with this book on record. So, if there are any more of these I should look for, leave it in the comments. We might it'd be nice to figure out more of the series, the Discovery series. And if you guys had ever played this when it first came out, or when it came out a long time after, like I did, because this book is 50 years old. And it looks amazing for a 50 year old record. A book also. And I'm glad that the records are pretty good too for 50 years old. They took real good care of this record. Okay, I, I get stuff from eBay. So if eBay got me a good record for the first time, I'm happy. Give that person credit. So, all right, let's do this. <laughs> so, please like, subscribe, share, and comment. Have a groovy day. We have another video coming out real soon.